Welcome to Proofpoint's How-To Video Tutorial Series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint Protection Server's features and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to configure DMARC within the Proofpoint Protection Server, or PPS. DMARC, or Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance, is an email validation system designed to detect and prevent email spoofing. Validation is becoming more critical for anyone responsible for email flow in their organization with the Proofpoint Protection Solution. DMARC settings can be accessed by selecting the Email Protection tab, Email Authentication Module, and the DMARC drop-down menu. We will be reviewing the General, Policies, and Rules pages during the video. Please note that DMARC requires SPF and DCOM to also be enabled and that the same inbound policy routes are selected for DMARC, SPF, and DCOM. DMARC is enabled at the General page. The information bubble contains quick links to configuring SPF, SPF rules, and DCOM. Whatever policy route that reflects all inbound email should be added to the Restrict Processing Require Any Of window. This policy route is often called Default Inbound. After a complete review of the folders, create a quarantine folder. This folder will store any DMARC messages that are quarantined. For auditing purposes, create a quarantine folder titled DMARC Failures. Quarantine folders are located at the System tab, Quarantine Module, and Folders page. Select the Add button to create a folder and then input a name for the folder. The Disposition tab defines how long messages are stored in the quarantine folder. The default system storage is two weeks. Next, click the Add Entry button. To access DMARC policies, select the Policies page. Next, click the default policy. The navigation menu will now be directed from Policies to Rules. By default, the rules are enabled. Viewing the Quarantine and Reject rules, the associated actions can be seen within the Action column. Please note that there is no Restrict or Disable checkbox selection as this was completed at the General page. Click the Edit Rule button for the Quarantine ID. This will open the Rule Settings page. Select the Quarantine Message checkbox and then choose the newly created folder titled DMARC Failures. Be sure to set the delivery method to continue. Click the Save Changes button. Next, click the Edit Rule button for the Reject ID. This will open the Rule Settings page. Select the Quarantine Message checkbox and then choose the folder DMARC Failures. Be sure to set the delivery method to continue and then save changes. After waiting for the rules to trigger, review any catches within the DMARC failures quarantine folder. After a complete review of the folders, create a quarantine folder. This folder will store any DMARC messages that are quarantined. Click the Add button and name the folder DMARC Quarantine. Specify the default disposition of the folder as two weeks and then select the Add Entry button. Next, create a new DMARC policy. Click the Add Policy button and then name the policy Block. 
input a policy description, and then create a clone from the default policy. Next, select the Save Changes button. Once the policy is created, edit the same rules as before with Quarantine and Reject. Click the Block Policy and then edit the Quarantine rule. Change the Quarantine Message folder from DMARC Failures to DMARC Quarantine. Next, set the delivery method to discard. Ensure that the disposition action is set to stop further rule evaluation and execution. This will stop other rules from being evaluated within the module. Click the Save Changes button to continue. For the last step, set the Reject rule from Quarantine and Continue to Reject. Click the Edit Rule button and then deselect the Quarantine Message checkbox. Next, select the Reject Radio button and then add a custom return text. Finally, select the Save Changes button. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to configure DMARC within the Proofpoint Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.